We just reached our next free boondocking location at the Wilcox Playa Wildlife Area, which is not necessarily what we consider prime real estate for several reasons. One, it's right by the highway, so there might be some highway noise, although it's a pretty remote highway, so probably not too bad. There's one now. Two is it's pretty small, so not very many people can be parked here at any given time. Number three is that it's not really very pretty, but I think that that's really just because it's winter and in Arizona, everything is just gray and dead. And well, I guess that's pretty much how it is everywhere in the winter. And the fourth reason is that you can only stay here for five nights. We usually look for places that we can boondock for 14 days at a time but we're gonna be hitting the road in like 10 days for a little road trip. So we just needed, um, we thought we could stay here for five nights and then in one more location for another four nights and then the next morning we leave. So I think this location will do nicely for now. Here's the view from the observation deck. The parking area, which is all this whole area is, just a small little parking lot. And then back behind me is where the trails go back through the mesquite trees. And there's all kinds of wildlife viewing in there. You should see the view from down here. I do see the view from down there. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> it stops. Over here is where Mama Kitty is playing in these dead mesquite trees. I mean, not dead, but winterized mesquite trees. She's right here. Is she over there? She's across the fence. She's over there. Oh, really? Yeah, she's across. In the wildlife area. I hope she's not hunting birds. She's in the wild. She is in the wild. That's what our um, screen looks like when we're viewing where Mama Kitty is at. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, this area turned out to be not so bad after all. This is another area for viewing the sandhill cranes, which if you saw a couple of videos back, it was pretty impressive watching them come back to roost at night. And so everything on this board kind of explains their behavior and what they've been doing. So I'm just pausing so that if you wanna stop and uh, pause on this and read it, you can and learn a little bit about the area and what's going on here. And here's the map of the area with these three different sites for viewing the Sandhill Crane. Oh, Twin Lakes Golf Course. So this is the area we were at before when we filmed that video about the migrating cranes. And then here's where we're at now. There's one more place that we can go. Hmm, maybe coming up soon, we'll see. So yeah. this is the wander women, you guys. Yeah. They travel oh, nice. around and do wonderful things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're full-time RVing and we're yeah. hiking. We're trying to go for a triple crown of the long distance through hikes. Yeah. That, that is so amazing. Crown. What's your age? Just to... I'm, uh, I'm 56. I'm 64. 63. 63. And go for the triple crown. Triple yeah. crowners. Is, uh, to explain what the triple crown is. So it's the three long distance trails mm -hmm. in the U.S. So the Appalachian Trail is 2,200 miles long. Goes yeah. from Georgia to Maine. We did that first. Yeah. Then last year Through we did. Through hiking. Yep. Through hiking. Took wow. us six months, nine days. Yeah. Strong work. And then we did the Continental Divide like Trail it. last year. And that one's, um, we did 2,700 miles. And we did that five months, 11 days. Yeah. And now we have to do the PCT, which is about which is 20, about 2,600 miles. 6, 25, yeah. Oh my god! Canada to Mexico. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've if seen... you guys aren't following them, you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> we need your support. We yeah. got our old bodies have to hold up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys are on Instagram also. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, yeah. we'll find, we'll find you, you then. All right, Thank you, you very much. You have a good evening. Yeah. Have a good evening. Now cut it off at 20 miles or so. It's going to get oh, dark soon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye bye. So I was contacted by this company called uh, Rock Pals, and they wanted me to test something out. So I don't normally do this because I'm really uh, we're very particular about what we put on our bus and stuff, but I actually wanted one of these things uh, for personal use. So they sent a one of these little uh, portable power stations. Instead of just, you know, showing you that this thing will 
charge my laptop and stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna like give it like um, a torture test. We're gonna do all sorts of torture testing with this, and then I'll show you guys what I actually wanted it for. And uh, but for now, I'm just gonna open it up and like get this thing charging. <laughs> It seems like a pretty small thing. I kind of like that. There's a charger, it looks like. Oh, yeah, it's a tiny little guy. Look at that. That is perfect. Oh, Look at how little this thing is. It's so cute. I love that. It looks like a little robot. Yeah. Aww. It's a cute little guy. So, okay, to start off with, I really like this already, just by the size, and specifically because like if you if you live in a a bus like we do or if you're van life or something like that like you just don't have you know room to put these giant things away so you know if somebody were to send me something that was four times this big i don't know where i would have kept it the whole idea of having something like this is that i can go away from the bus and still power something that i may need to use out there so um this will charge your phones and it will charge your it has a 120 volt slot here and you can plug in like a car style 12 volt you know uh bayonet plug there i guess you could charge this thing off solar i didn't get any solar panels with it or anything um so i'm sure it has the charger right here so we're going to plug it in we're going to charge this thing up and then we're going to start doing some little tests some interesting stuff it says it's pure sine wave so that's cool but we're going to test that because I have an oscilloscope. Bet you guys didn't know that. It comes with two chargers. I think that's cool. I can plug it into my car. I can plug it into the wall. It charges at... It's a 15 volt charger. This is a 12, obviously. Um, and this is a 15 volt. So this one's probably a little bit quicker in charging than this one would. But this might be higher amperage though. So we'll find out because we're going to charge it right now. I guess we're charging it by solar. <laughs> technically <laughs> oh my gosh but the really indirect route that's funny we are yeah there it is it's now doing this little charging thing that's kind of interesting it tells how much going in and how much goes out so that's cool okay so the first test we're going to do is they claim this thing is pure sine wave inverter so we want to test to see if it truly is a pure sine wave inverter and that is a very pure sine wave so off the bat they're not lying and it is giving me 106 volts so that's within the range 110 volt appliance and uh, so that's good that's a good start first real world test of the rock pals is going to be we're going to cook some rice because we're going to have some burritos tonight with rice and it's going to be delicious carrie's already got everything measured out here and we're going to use this to cook it so we'll see We'll see what happens. See if this can handle half an hour of rice cooking. Okay, so we'll put this in. Oh, we gotta rinse this rice. No, you don't. Go straight in. You're crazy. Chinese people are freaking out all over the world right now because of you. All right, let's turn it on. It's at 100%. But we kick it on like that to cook, boom, 243 watts. 44 probably would go up as it warms up. And uh, all right, we'll see what happens here. How is it? Hot. <laughs> Good. All right, so first test of the Rock Power 300. It's down at 22 watts right now because this thing is on warm instead of cook. We used 78% of our battery power from this thing to cook that rice. It took about 30 minutes. So but that's pretty good. So it totally worked. And test one is a success. We still have to figure out what some more good torture tests are. Carrie and I have been plotting because we're, we're trying to make this thing fail within its spec. And uh, so far we're failing at that. So awesome. Look who's just waiting to go out this morning again. She's already been out a couple of times, but the sun just came out. It's been all cloudy and overcast until now, but there's still some snow left on the ground. 
This doesn't happen all that often in Arizona. I mean, at higher elevations, yeah, but we're not that high right here. What, Mamacita? You're not walking in the snow? You don't like it? Ha, look at her little paw print in the snow. So cute. She only took one step and then she was like, I'm out of here. She got back under the bus. I don't know if you can tell, but it's definitely snowing again. I just started the generator because I forgot to turn off the inverter two nights ago. And now that we've had um, two cloudy days in a row, um, the only reason I'm turning it on really is because I'm about to edit. So just to make sure that we don't get too low on our battery power. But it's so beautiful out in the snow. I almost just want to come play outside for a while. <laughs> Mamacita, you're getting snow on your face. What's the matter? Don't you want to come out? You're staying in the house? Okay, your choice. It's a winter wonderland today, especially for Arizona. And I'm sure many of you might have guessed that I'm alone because Mike is at work today. So I thought it might be fun to come on a little snow hike adventure by myself. But I was wrong. It's not that much fun without your buddy. So I think I'm gonna head back to the bus for a cup of hot coffee and a slice of pumpkin pie and just stay indoors and do a little editing today and enjoy the scene out the bus windows. That's enough winter wonderland for me. Okay, next big test here is I'm in the back of my ambulance here at work and I'm gonna show you guys uh, this thing actually is doing very well. So this is, uh, here's our, my rock pal drawing 19 watts right now. This is my cardiac monitor. Actually at this rate, let's see, five, so I could keep this on for 15 hours at this rate, using it to monitor something. So uh, rural EMS, things like that. Uh, this might actually be work, work for you, especially if you're way out there and you're not going to have some way to plug in, I suppose, um, or you're away from your ambulance on a big scene up on a mountainside or something like that. So uh, this would actually uh, work for that. Coffee is ready. Okay, you guys, we're hanging out with our friends that used to be our bus life friends, but are now our van life friends. Have you figured it out yet? It's Tio Aventura. <laughs> say hi to Maria, Jose, and Chase. Hey, all you cool kids. <laughs> I have to say hi, amigos. That's <laughs> right. Hola, amigos. That's, Hola, amigos. that's what we expect from you. I'm Chase. <laughs> And I'm Maria Jose. And I have the ever-burning question for you guys. What has it been like to transition from a full-length schoolie down Ooh. into a van? It's a process. Yeah, it was a big change for sure. But we went from a big house to a big bus, and now we're in a tiny van. Yeah. And there's some changes to it, but still, you make it... It's like the same as a bus, you know? Like, you, there's different layouts, and it's for everybody's needs. Yeah. You know, like you adjust to it you and prioritize. Yeah, so <laughs> we knew we wanted a bathroom. We knew we need needed a place to hang out and have people over. So 
we tried to make it as comfortable as we could. We had a little bit less to donate this time, but we still had a lot to donate. Yeah. And we tried to really figure out what we needed. And yeah. we've already figured out that and some and left some things behind at our home base in Nashville. Yeah. Hi, Mom and Dad, by the way. <laughs> yeah, they're probably watching. Hello. <laughs> okay, so then what can we expect for your future? How long do you guys think you're going to be traveling in the van? Um, oh. In this van? For a while. Yeah. Um, traveling? <coughs> hopefully forever. Yeah. Um, but I think in the future you can find places to stay. You can reach out to us for certain types of builds, and yeah. uh, and maybe we'll have little ones and, uh, <gasps> and a maybe house. you never know. Who knows? Wow! You heard it here first. I know. You know did. <laughs> All kinds of good things. All the secrets. <laughs> wow! Here. Did not see that coming. Wow! Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we, go. We've got a lot of plans, but no matter what, we we always want to stay mobile, even yeah. if it's six really? months out of the year. I think six months is the absolute bare minimum. Yeah. Uh, to, to stay traveling because if, if you're not having fun at least half of the year, then what, what are, you are you really you doing? doing? Yeah. <laughs> I what? like the way yep. you think. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All so. right. That sounds really cool, you guys. Brought to you by Shock Talk. I know. And Hardswick. Not so very good, but hashtag alcoholic. not sponsored. <laughs> not, very, not very good, but alcoholic. <laughs> it's not very good. It's it's not very good, but it does the job. <laughs> <laughs> so this, so the it's version the of jalapeno pineapple that wasn't without, you, there's one without alcohol. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's our favorite. Okay, this smells. That's you're not gonna like it. I literally anyway. just heard so negative, of a pineapple please. jalapeno drink yesterday in Safeway. They had one. How is it? What does this remind me of? I go. No, no, it's very familiar. Hmm. In a good way or a bad way? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not bad. It reminds at all, me actually. of changing the toilet. <laughs> no, that's happening further with the stick. <laughs> no, it doesn't smell like vinegar. I scooped and a piece hit me on the nose. <laughs> that's that's what it reminds me of. One, two, three. Oh my god, that's hard. My face is like <laughs> <laughs> Do you like pickle juice? It's an odd question. They have a pickle juice <sighs> sparkling water. Yeah, we you know, I've started to come around in my life pickle. to pickles. Hey. And Carrie did something yeah. really strange one day. And she like made it. a grilled cheese sandwich with pickles in it. Mm. I thought that was bizarre. And it was delicious. And then he tasted it and was like, hmm. It was f***ing delicious. That's and I was awesome. like, oh my God. I, I love pickles. I actually man. like this. Grilled and cheese with dill pickles, they got to be those crispy, <laughs> like clauses. Yeah. Yeah, totally. you can't get no, no rubbery nothing. It's got to be a pop. Like, I really want to travel and do cool things. But I, I have a great job, and I yeah. really like what I do and stuff. So the question is, I thought about going to nursing school. Like, this is a total great strategy. Spend a year and a half in nursing school. Go traveling. And do travel nursing. Because mm -hmm. like we've got the bus And then you, not only do we get to travel, they pay you to get there. They, they pay part of your boarding. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're making like 45 an hour. Yeah. yeah. On twelve hour shifts. What are you doing, dude? I know exactly. Well, I just gotta get there. It's like there's a there's a process. The process. Yeah. Thank you. There's a process. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a cook. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool to finally meet you guys. I, I really know. I this. know. I feel like I already met you before. I know. Yeah. That, that's yeah. the weird thing. Like yeah. you guys, it's not like you guys look new to us. You know? Like <laughs> that awkward we, we conversation. Knew what like, you've been Hi. doing. Well, thanks for having us over to your no, van no, today. Thanks for showing <laughs> yeah, up. And like driving an hour to come. <laughs> yeah, that's that's unbelievable. Let me just say that we're sitting in here. We've been sitting in here for probably two and a half hours now. Totally comfortable. It's been like super chill. Like it has not been like weird being in a tiny little space like this. It's been a lot of fun. Can you believe you drove an hour to just come and sit inside of a van? I'll be honest, like coming out here, I'm like, okay, this is kind of silly. Like we're going to see him at Schooly Palooza. We're about to drive in uh, over an hour to get here yeah. and, and to go see them for like a couple hours and then we have to go back home. But yeah. here's the beautiful <laughs> thing. And honestly, so worth it. Oh, thank so you worth guys. It. And when we see you at Schooly Palooza, we'll just have to bring like snacks and treats and drinks. Yeah, that will and be hang out in your bus. With the fireplace? Yeah. Be yeah. I yeah. claim you've already done that. Fire. you already done that. Okay, yeah, no. you get the fire. Well, like, yeah. We'll have you guys over for dinner. Come join us in the bus yeah. for dinner yeah. at Schooly yeah. Palooza. Well, on the, if it's warm enough. On the deck. On the deck. I'll make a couple pans of enchiladas oh. and some. Oh. Oh. I feel like someone owes us some margaritas. Oh. oh. I haven't forgotten. Wow. I 
I forgot. Oh, I haven't. Margarita's Jason's on the deck. On the yeah. deck. We're doing it. It's happening. <laughs> all right, all right. Fair cool. enough. Cool. <laughs> you know, I was a bartender when going through paramedic school. Oh, really? Uh, prove it. <laughs> I don't believe challenge you. accepted. I just, challenge accepted. What's up? No, you own him nine dollars and a margarita. <laughs> no way, dude. I'm gonna win that one. And easy. But but I do always want to say this because we were not in real life friends before we were in real life friends, mm -hmm. IRL friends. For the right. IRL. Yeah. yeah. These two are exactly what you see on the camera, and yes. that's so beautiful and yeah. so rare. Oh, I'm glad you yeah. said that. Exactly. We actually, we, that's something that we've always striven to do mm -hmm. when we're doing these videos. I didn't want to have like the, some like be some fake guy. Like some persona. Yeah, I, did. Yeah. I hate that. No, and I was going to say exactly the same for you guys. It's like exactly yeah. who oh, we've yeah. been watching on TV for it's, the past three years yeah, or however long I'm it's been. I'm just more shy in person. And then <laughs> after a little bit, I'm like, oh. She cooks, I eat, we edit out all the curse words. But we're still the same people. That's a lot of editing, you That's guys. That's the same. <laughs> you wouldn't believe. No, I'm the, kidding. The things people have said. <laughs> That's the secret behind Tio <laughs> Evan yeah. Now we know. <laughs> but it's, it's nice. It's Wonderful experience. Yeah. Thank you guys for having us. Yeah. Oh, thank you so for coming. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. This has been super fun, y'all. Hope we can do it again soon. We yeah, will. we will. Like, for yeah. sure. In like a week's time. About yeah, like right? Week. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, it's <laughs> coming sure. up. For sure. Well, you guys, we had a great time hanging out with our friends. It's like going over and like catching up with old friends or something. That's... I know. It's actually beginning to be winter weather in it's Arizona right now. I don't know if you can see this, but so, it is like fogged out ahead of us. It's snowing, it's snowing right now. It's not always sunny in Arizona. It's just almost always sunny in Arizona. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's like when you go and visit your friends all day and you don't cut firewood. <laughs> And then you get home at night and it's snowing and you have to go chainsaw wood. This is our real lives. <laughs> Pretty exciting way to gather firewood though. At the last minute. <laughs> exciting is not the word I would have used. <laughs> it is snowing like crazy in Arizona right now. How bizarre is this? Can you see it? Can you see it coming down? Look at me. Oh my God, like shake yourself off. You are so snowed. <laughs> Next big test of our rock pal is to charge my drone batteries, guys. We use them all the time. Yeah, I can plug it in here, but this is way cooler. And plus I wanna see like actually how far it'll get. It's drawing 67 watts right now. And uh, so it'll be interesting to see how many of these batteries actually get charged off this uh, rock pal. All right, little update here. We started at 98% and it charged one battery and it's working on the second battery now. But it's it's fun to actually watch the, uh, the wattage meter on there. We're drawing 55 watts right now. But when this second battery here started, it was actually drawing about 70 amps and is now down to 50. And as it got all the way down on the first battery after it was like getting right to the end of fully charging it it was down at like five watts so it was really interesting to just see like how the smart battery technologies that these these uh drone batteries are and just for reference this is actually a mavic pro 2. well we're back at the end of the charging it finished it's about to finish the fourth battery right now so this rock pal will charge four Mavic 2 Pro batteries. So that gives me literally two hours of flight time out in the field. So that's pretty good. Well, what do you think? Notice anything different? Hint, hint, hint. I just got back from the salon from losing about six inches off the length of my hair. But guess what happened while I was gone? Mike stocked us up on a little bit of firewood. I mean a lot of bit of firewood. <laughs> Sorry about the wind noise. Yeah, it's like just straight wind right now. Yeah, but we had to show you um, our pile of wood that we're bringing to Schoolie Palooza with us because we don't know what the weather is going to be like. We need to be prepared 
if it's cold. But this is just a small, small fraction of that huge pile of wood that we had down there. We had to borrow a truck, load up the entire half quart of wood, except for this, and take it somewhere else to be dropped off on a, on a friend's a piece of property. It was crazy. We had no idea how much half a quart of wood would actually be. It was a crazy amount of wood. But at least now we're stocked up for the rest of winter and then some. Yes. Good thing I'm buff. So I guess these are the tie-down thingies that we're adding to our roof deck. All right, you want to hand me those uh, carabiners behind you? Schooly Paloos are ready. We're cold weather ready. That's right. No matter where we go. That's right. It's a solid 10 plus days of wood right there. Oh yeah, that's more than Easily. enough. I can't believe we like put it up here like this and got it all fastened down. It looks good. Yeah, we're done with this part of the process today. Moving on to the next task. It's uh moving the bus. Moving the bus. This is what I use this for. And this is why I was really stoked to get it because this actually has a USB-C out and that requires that kind of connection. This can actually carry 100 watts of power and it allows me to do sound recording. As you see here, and I enjoy recording nature and everything else uh, when it's nice and quiet. The Rock Pals has done an awesome job. Stood up to our tor torture tests. Um, it's a nice compact package, especially if you're living in like a bus or something. I don't know where I'd put those bigger ones. And uh, this thing's good job. Good job. It has the most modern uh, features in it. Pure sine wave, the whole nine yards. Totally two thumbs up. This is a good product. Okay, it's not exactly mail time, but it's gift time. So awesome. Thank you. You heard me. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've made Mike a very happy man. Kara will be super jealous as I won't be sharing this with her. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. That was super cool of you guys. It's a whole new whiskey? Yeah, I haven't tried this one yet. So, awesome. Maybe this is one they enjoy. He's excited to try a new whiskey, let me tell you. Oh, I have another gift too that was actually hand delivered to us by um, our friend Emmy from Emmy and Bill. Um, she handmade this little thing of our bus. It's like a sun catcher kind of thing. Isn't that so cute? So we're hanging this up. It was such a surprise too. Like, and she goes, oh, I made something for you guys. It was so unexpected yeah. that she comes running out. She's so cute. Super cute. <laughs> so thank you too. Awesome sauce. Mail time, everybody. Again, mail time. Because we forgot to open this one. I love mail time. It's kind of one of my most favorite times of these shows. Uh, oh, what is it? I think I see something for Mama Sita. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mama Sita's going to get fat and happy. <laughs> oh, look who else is going to get fat oh, and happy around here. Oh, I get it. Treat for me, treat for Mama Sita. Mike, you don't get anything. Mm -hmm, they dropped off my treat earlier. How do people know that like chocolate and coconut is my thing like i eat mounds yeah, totally candy not. bars all the time like chocolate and coconut is my thing guess i'm just lucky like that i'm gonna have one right now and she's gonna share them with me or else it's my mail time this is our time down here <laughs> down here it's our time <laughs> name that movie Ooh, look at these oh these remind me of little cocoy patties from Mexico. So in closer, mm. treats for all. Hope you're enjoying. Oh. At our house, the kitty treats are known as kitty crack, so beware. Best always, Pat Wheat. Pat and Colin, you guys are so cool. Pat, man. this is delicious. Oh, oh my gosh. Here's our here's our friends. This is Pat and Colin. You guys are great. For reals. They sent us t-shirts last year. It was so cool. And I still wear them all the time. One of them, in fact, is my favorite t-shirt, by the way. 
These things are delicious. Are they? Yeah. It's better than Malin's, huh? Because it's thicker and mmm, deliciouser. Well, obviously <laughs> you were just nailed it for Carrie here. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. Well, let me have one. Don't be just stingy. Oh, they're dirty. Oh. That's it. That's all you get. I would share mine with you. Mommy kitty, she hasn't come out from hiding because we just moved today. Yeah, we just parked just so right now. And she just has this moment of like PTSD for her probably. Oh, let us tell you what happened. We're at the gas station, not just any gas station, but a huge truck stop. And when Mike came in, a gust of wind caught the door and it oh stayed God. open instead of closing. And then all of a sudden I saw Mama Kitty going underneath the bus outside out of the corner of my eye. Like, oh my gosh, she got out in the worst place she could possibly Busy get out. Busy parking lot. So I went around to the other side of the bus to try to like catch her on her way on that side and I already couldn't find her. And then I went back to the other side and couldn't, like I didn't know where she went. So at that point, Mike is trying to help me look for her. I'm checking back inside the bus in case I was crazy or that wasn't her that I saw. But I had the water on. And you know what happens if we forget to turn off the water. Oh, exactly. <laughs> so I ran out and turned off the water. And then we both like started, started searching scrambling. for the cat. And you know what? She was the same place she was last time she was missing. Up on the roof of the bus. Under the deck, but on the roof of the bus is like her little hiding spot and she goes up the ladder you guys just like a human she just climbs up it it's hilarious i'm i'm trying to catch her on film one of these days but it's hard to catch yeah <laughs> so thank you guys for sending us stuff as always we really appreciate it it's super it's it's super neat to see these thoughtful gifts that people send us it's like mm -hmm. i can't even put it into words it's just so neat to get these and they're so like you know it's kind of random. So if you want to send us a gift, if you're sending it by post, like UP, USPS, then you want to go to P.O. Box 241, uh, Wilcox, Arizona, 85644. So thank you guys again. It's super cool. And we don't expect anything, but we sure do like it. It's so neat. And uh, see you guys next time. Mm, awesome. Thank you, guys. You rock. Bye, guys. Bye.